with this soil, we can see that it's a much lighter soil texture. There's less clay in this soil, more silt. That makes for a much nicer working soil. And this is typically utilizing a deep tillage cultivation system. But typically in here, we're using a Sumo Trio. And it's very typical of the kind of cultivation regimes that we're using at the moment. So that's giving us a breakup of the soil right down to six or eight inches. And this soil is working quite well because it's a nice friable type of soil. Now the problem with this cultivation regime generally is that we're introducing oxygen to the soil, burning the organic matter, and we can see in the slate test that we were running earlier that that reduction in organic matter leaves their soil unresilient to heavy rainfall. And we can see that starting to happen on the surface of this soil with the running together of the silts and the blocking of the surface fissures preventing further infiltration of heavy rain should we get any. But the problem is very, very thin. It's literally just on the surface of the soil. It's millimetres thick and that's the area that's preventing moisture from passing through the soil. Below that, we've got lots of worm activity, plenty of fissures. So if we can get the moisture through this area, it will drain down through here quite well. But we're increasingly seeing that the water will not penetrate through the surface and that's causing us surface drainage issues and that's causing us crop establishment issues because our crop is trying to germinate and grow in what is waterlogged conditions. Okay, we've moved a short distance within the same soil zone, but we're now looking at a completely different cultivation regime. So this area of the field has been shallow tilled for five years now either using direct drilling or rape using the micro wing uh, establishment technique to about three inches deep or using the surface tillage machine that we've designed with cousins in order to tackle all the issues that we are identifying across the site. I brought the soil with me that I dug from the deeper tillage sumo trio regime and you can see that the soil characteristics are the same right from the surface all the way down because we told the soil what we want it to do via the cultivation process. Yes, we've still got worms in here because this is a nice type of soil, so they'll live in there quite happily, but we've broken that soil up mechanically, physically, all the way down through this profile using steel. On this side, we've only cultivated the soil to that depth for the last five years now, and that's now starting to really make a fundamental difference. So. We've got very, very big worm holes now running through this soil right up to the surface. We've got a very friable surface structure. We've got very good aggregation on the soil surface, which is being maintained. So these nice small soil aggregates on the soil surface, which are much more resilient to heavy rainfall because they're now containing these natural soil glues that give the soil stability. Soil holds together really, really well because we are always maintaining both old and new root systems through the soil. And everywhere you look, you've got big wormholes running right from depth up to the surface. That's full of crop residue that the worms are pulling down from the surface as well. And of course, you can see on the surface that we've got much more residue uh, because we're not mixing it uh, into the soil. The soil is also a much different structure all the way down. And here's a a nice big fat worm straight away for us to have a look at. And these are the kind of worms that we're now preserving within our soil profile. These are the deep working worms, the worms that will go right from two meters down up to the surface and will take the surface residue that we're leaving on the surface right down through the soil profile and give our roots access to depth by following these large worm burrows. What we can also see with the soil is the kind of structure that it starts to build. It takes on profile much like a breeze block. And when we run on our surface with tractors, that soil is very resistant to being compressed. So we're not putting wheelings into the soil that we then have to take out with later cultivations. If we go back to the soil that's been with deeper tilled and we try and compress that, we can see that that crushes very much more easily. And this is a classic case of cultivations actually allowing the soil to be more compacted in subsequent passes than soil where we are carrying out less cultivation and utilizing our natural soil biology like big worms to keep our soil well structured and water going through at a nice even rate. Mm -hmm.